Hi everyone, hi brothers and sisters in Christ. I don't use Facebook much anymore at all. I used to post my videos there. And none of my friends on here believe in Jesus Christ. There's one person that, or no, there's a couple people that I've met online. And my ex-girlfriend's mom is a Christian. So a few years ago, my mom went to be with our Lord Jesus Christ. And it's, it's very hard losing someone you love that much. I told my friend Dana here about that, and he said he can't imagine how I feel, but didn't say much to after after that. We've had a falling out. I'm no longer his friend. He deleted me off Facebook because one time he quoted a Bible verse, and I completed the Bible verse, and instead of saying anything to me, he just unfriended me, and I haven't spoken to him since. And he, he was my best friend growing up through like junior high and high school. I miss him and I love him. I want him to be saved and find Jesus Christ. Not to annoy him or judge him or anything like that. It's weird not having friends. And I know you relate brothers and sisters. It's just we've been through a lot in the last few years. And it's biblical because the world is biblical. Life is biblical. Eternal life is biblical, and it has to do only with faith in Jesus Christ. That is the meaning of life. I stand on that. I don't say that to be a smart guy. I say that because it's the meaning of life to get salvation and forgiveness of sins because we're all sinners. We've all fallen and failed. We've all done some pretty good things in our lives too, right? But our God's standard is very high. It's very confusing to figure out the meaning of life, but knowing Jesus Christ, it's a miracle. So ranting on here, this is my friend Dana. You've probably noticed that he has one eye symbolism here. And he has one eye symbolism here. And what do I basically do for a living, brothers and sisters? I live in these end times, and I've dedicated my life to things that have helped me on my path with Jesus Christ. So it's talking about how glorious he is, and how he saved my life, and how he turned my life around, and how he's forgiven me, and so many things that he's made promises that I'm like, Lord, I want those promises. I love those promises. And I've realized that the world, it's not just it's corrupt financially, like really rich people are in charge and the world sucks. The world is biblical and spiritual. There's things we don't understand. There's a lot of people that are into stuff that is insane. So brothers and sisters, I know you relate to me. I know you relate to this. What are we doing every day? We're trying to tell people the truth that saves them. I, The terms weeping or wailing and gnashing of teeth hits me so hard in my heart and soul because there's going to be a divide. There's going to be a day where it's too late and you didn't have faith in Jesus Christ. I don't want to annoy people. I don't want to bother people. I don't want to let people down. It's hard work telling people the truth because the world wants you to believe the opposite of the truth. The world laughs and mocks at Jesus Christ. And Christians are idiots. They're like, you know, they're living in the dark ages. They don't like gay people. Like, there's so many subjects and agendas in this world. Standing up for God, it's a hard thing. It's the days of Noah right now. It's the end times. But there's not going to be an ark to get on or a flood. The Lord is going to take out the born-again believers, people that have faith. Not people that are really, really good people. You know, those people that help little old ladies cross the street every day. We've all failed and we've all sinned. It's Jesus Christ alone. It's not to bother people or to judge people or to lose their friendship or anything. 
it's truth that is hard to understand, especially at first, because we're all living in our flesh and this world is very easy to distract you. We all do this. We all live in the world with its distractions. It's time to wake up. It's time to go, God, I need you. Who is God? Not the one you make up in your head. Not a little bit of this and a little bit of that. No, it's not fine for you to believe this and I believe this. It is the truth of Jesus Christ alone. God bless you, everyone. I hope you get something out of this because I know it's been hard, everyone. I know it's been hard. God bless you.